In this tutorial, we will show you how to deploy the Appion workspace to a iOS or Android mobile device. There are several deployment scenarios for the Appion workspace. First and the most simple is to sync via a desktop client. For example, with an Apple device, you can sync using iTunes. You simply add the IPA file to your iTunes and using the USB cable perform a traditional sync. There is also the option to deploy the Appion workspace over the air, downloading via a URL. If you have many mobile devices in your organization, you may consider using an MDM server, a mobile device management server. An MDM server can deploy your IPA or APK files to your iOS or Android device automatically. Since Appion produces standard IPA and APK files, you're also able to upload the Appion workspace to the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Your users can then download your mobile application directly from the App Store. In this tutorial, we will specifically examine how to perform an over-the-air deployment of the Appion workspace. In this over-the-air deployment example, we will be using an internal Wi-Fi connection to a developer PC that is running a developer edition of Appion for Power Builder. We will need to establish a connection to the Appion server from the mobile device. We will need to enable unknown sources on Android. It is not necessary to perform this configuration on an iOS device such as iPad or iPhone. We will need to configure the download aws.html page, which is located on the IS server. Then we will install the Appion workspace to the device over the air. And finally, we will need to configure the mobile application URL in the Appion workspace. In order to establish a connection between the mobile device and the Appion server, there are several key configurations we will need to perform on a Windows 7 or 8 OS. The first is to disable the Windows firewall. This is required only on a Windows 7 or 8 OS. When deploying to a production server running Windows 2008, for example, it is not necessary to perform this step. This will allow an external device to connect to the Appion server that is installed on this machine. The next step is to identify the IP address of this PC. You simply open the command prompt and type in ipconfig. You want to locate the IPv4 address. In my case, it's 192.168.1.129. Next, we will open a web browser and type in the IP address we just located to verify that it is correct. This should bring up the IS welcome page. Then, we will type in AEM and verify that the Appion Enterprise Manager is loading. Now, we will open our mobile device. In this case, I'm using an Android, but iOS would also be the same set of steps. We navigate to the settings, go to the Wi-Fi, and ensure we're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as a developer PC. In this case, the Cisco 1507 5 gigahertz. Then, we open the browser on the mobile device and type in the same IP address that we typed on the developer PC. In this case, 192.168.1.129. 
It should also display the IS welcome page. We will type in AEM and verify that the Appion Enterprise Manager also displays in the web browser of the mobile device. Now we have verified that the mobile device can establish a connection to the Appion server on the developer PC over Wi-Fi. The next step on an Android device is to go to the settings menu, navigate to the security section, and enable unknown sources by checking the box and clicking OK. This setting is only required on an Android device, not iOS, and it is only required if deploying over the air outside of the Google Play Store. The next step is to configure the download AWS HTML page. There's a PDF included, the how-to, that has important steps you must follow. In this case, we're using an Appion server for .NET, which is deployed to the Microsoft IIS. We will need to configure the MIME types for the IIS website, specifically adding the .apk extension for the Android application, the IPA extension for the iOS application, and the plist. In this screenshot, you can see where this configuration can be performed on an IIS manager. You will need to install SSL certificate on your IIS server or any other web server for that matter. This is only required to deploy the Appion workspace over the air to an iOS 7.1 or later device. It is not required to deploy to the Android device. Next, we will need to modify the plist file with the correct IP address and information for the Appion workspace. This is only required to deploy the Appion workspace to an iOS device and not to Android. Finally, we will need to modify the download aws.html page to include the correct IP address of your IS server and the correct version number of the Appion workspace that you wish to deploy to your users. We strongly recommend that you read this how-to PDF document. Now, we will install the Appion workspace to the mobile device. We simply open up the web browser, type in the IP address of our web server, slash AWS for Appion workspace, and click Go. You can see there's two download options, one for iOS and one for Android. In this case, I'm using an Android device, so I will click download for Android. You will notice at the bottom, it prompts me to click OK in order to download and install. As we expand the menu at the top, we must tap download complete in order to perform the installation. We will click next and install. And this process may take a minute or so depending on the speed of your mobile device and your Wi-Fi connection. Now when we navigate to the app section we will see the Appion mobile icon for the Appion workspace. Tapping this icon will launch the Appion workspace and you will notice that there are no applications inside. We will need to click the Add App button and type in the URL for our mobile application. In this case, it's the IP address of my developer PC slash test. And then we will click the test connection and confirm that the application can be found on the Appion server. Clicking OK, clicking back in the left hand corner, and you can see the application has been installed. 
if we tap the application icon, it will launch the mobile application inside the Appion workspace. Although this is a native mobile application, Appion Workspace will always keep the application in sync automatically without manual user intervention. Simply deploy an updated version of the mobile application to the Appion server and the next time the user launches the application they will see the latest version of the application. This concludes this tutorial for deploying the Appion Workspace to a mobile device.